When I accepted the offer from Dean Cain for a position as an associate professor and a department head, it honestly created a transformational change in my career. John Palms had called me to his office, the president of the university at that time, and said, we're gonna hire Susie Van Huss. She's retiring from the business school and we want her to run the office of the foundations for the university. I had close people in the university who knew her well and trusted her also, so they were recommended uh, to me. First time I meet Susie, she said, my philosophy's pretty simple. Hire good people, get the hell out of their way and let them do their job. I loved her from that moment on. While she was at the foundation, I think we acquired over 36 properties you where you see the Greek village now, where you see the dorms going up, or you see we're moving down towards the river. She was involved in all of that. We pooled uh, the investments of four different foundations, resulting in a significant savings in investment fees over the years. The opportunity to work with all of the university foundations, and in particular the Business Partnership Foundation, all of those things really changed me from just a traditional academic role to a much broader professional. Well, Susie served as a faculty athletics rep for the university to the Southeastern Conference for many years, and her compassion, her composure, and her willingness to work with our student athletes made it very successful for the University of South Carolina as it related to her role as a faculty athletics rep. Athletic coaches aren't very often known for, their, for being passive. But I can tell you, they ran into a bulldog when they ran into Susie Van Huss. And there was no way her personality or her integrity was going to allow the university to get in any trouble. She was instrumental in convincing the faculty that to have this investment in athletics would be significantly paying off, and it has. Whether it's an academic unit, whether it's an athletic team, whether it's a charitable organization in the community, her passion is, is displayed for the group. Real accomplishments do not come as an individual effort. And so the team effort that is created is truly responsible, I think, for most of my accomplishments. It's always been about service for her and, and the impact that she makes with other people and, and her dedication in doing so. The Moore School has meant everything to Pat and me. Pat's my husband. The opportunities that we've had here, we love to give back. I used to joke with them that they had the, their house was the best restaurant in Columbia. Some of the parties she used to throw at her house, dinner parties, there was always food involved. There was always uh, drink involved, but uh, they were epic. She is a, a whole person that anybody would enjoy having as a friend. And, and Pat and her together is more powerful. Susie is not labeled as any one category or one type. Anybody who, who thinks otherwise learns very quickly that's not the case. I love Susie Van Huss. I love her for that. Dean Kane gave me the best career advice I've ever had, and I share it with many people. If you really want to make a difference, you'll get out in the business community and you'll be a better teacher and be far more valuable to all of us. And he was absolutely right.